and welcome to another Wednesday in second grade. I am so happy you're here. Are you ready to get this new day started? Let's start with prayer. So let's all just find a nice calm body, a good spot wherever you are, sitting up straight. And let's take that first deep breath in and let it out. One more deep breath in and let it out. Awesome. With your right hand over your heart, everyone in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for Wednesdays. Thank you for the halfway point of the week. I want to thank you for everyone in our class and for the hard work that they do every day. I want you to watch over them and be with them today as they complete their schoolwork wherever they are. Okay, second grade, go ahead, take your time right now. Say your prayer intention to God out loud. For all these prayers we said out loud and the ones we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Thank you so much. So let's end again with our same hand. Everybody in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. So super scholars, let's now check in with ourselves on this awesome Wednesday. So do you have your check-in mat out? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fill it out together. How are you doing on this Wednesday? Okay, here we go. Okay, how are you doing on your check-in? Remember, if you're not done, go ahead and pause. So I'm gonna just quickly share my check-in with you. I am feeling a five today, and that is because the sun is coming out, and I was able to talk to some of my friends yesterday, so that is what is on my mind and making me a five. And then I'm thankful for our small groups, our reading groups. I love spending time with just a small group of us so we can talk to each other more. So I'm thankful for our small groups on Zoom. So if you would love to share your check-in mat with me, please include it in your class dojo pic that you post. Okay, second grade, thank you for starting this morning with me. And let's go remind ourselves on this wonderful Wednesday to use our optimism. Welcome back to the Optimism Board, second grade. I always get in a good mood when we come over here because that's being optimistic. So remember yesterday we talked about a new side to optimism that we want to focus on for the next few weeks. And that was the ability to get through difficult tasks without giving up. That's another way we can define or talk about what it means to be optimistic. That even when something's difficult, we don't give up because we believe a good thing will happen. We are looking on the positive side. And we also talked about how optimism and our mindset go hand in hand. When we believe we can get better at something, we're going to keep working harder. And we know it hasn't happened yet, but it will. And that is also part of optimism. I love making connections between different things that we've learned. And yesterday, we talked about our new mantra, I am strong. So if 
So when you're optimistic and you work through difficult things, you are using your strength. So we're going to remind us of that today. Can you do the mantra with me? Can we do it all together? Here we go. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. Good job. I actually have no muscles, but that doesn't matter because we're talking about strength as doing difficult tasks without giving up. And then second grade, I want to give a shout out to one of our reading groups that was using optimism this week. And that is the Tigers. The Tigers are the reading group that I see on Tuesday. And they were being optimistic because yesterday we were learning a brand new thing in reading group. And they were being positive and following along with their roller coaster. And even though it was something new, they were not giving up. And that is what I really appreciate about how the Tigers, that reading group, used optimism this week. So you go Tigers. Okay, second grade, always remember you are strong and to use your optimism as you go throughout your day. So now let's see, lastly in morning meeting, what is our question of Wednesday? So Super Scholar, for question of the day, this is actually a question I've asked you before, but I've never heard your answer. In lessons, we always do a this or that to get our body moving. So now I actually want you to answer one in your video. So my question for you is, would you rather go to the zoo or the aquarium? Remember, the aquarium is where they have all the sea creatures. So would you rather visit the zoo or the aquarium and why? This is the question that you have already thought about but today you're gonna to make a video of your answer so all your classmates and I can see. I would rather go to the zoo because usually a zoo is much, much bigger and I love walking around and being in all the open space. So that is why I would prefer to visit the zoo. You're gonna go on Flipgrid and answer for yourself. Go check out your friends' videos and see who else likes the zoo or who else likes the aquarium. So let's go ahead, start our day with Flipgrid, and then keep it going. 